Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we do another deep dive into Tubi. And before we get to this video, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button, because that really does help this channel out so much. So for those of you not familiar with this channel, once a week I dive into one of the popular streaming platforms and come up with 10 more horror movies to recommend for you guys. And this week I did another deep dive into Tubi and came up with 10 more horror movies that I think you will enjoy. And with that, let's get to the list. All right, so kicking off this list is a Spanish language film called Time Crimes. So this is a very cool sci-fi meets horror time travel, and you know me in time travel, that or werewolves, and you get me every time. So this is a time travel sci-fi type of situation that gets very weird and twisted, a lot of time paradox, and just strange stuff happening, but it has a really dark edge to it. So even though it is not exactly horror, it definitely has enough horrific moments and elements that I think it is worth checking out. And yes, you will have to deal with subtitles, but to me, it is very much worth it. So if you've never checked out Time Crimes, definitely check it out. Next movie on the list is a small indie film called Moon. Sam Bell reporting to Central. Everything running smoothly. Over and out. Rock and roll. God bless America. So this movie stars Sam Rockwell, and this is one of my favorite performances I've ever seen of his. This movie is amazing, and especially because it really is just Sam Rockwell. Like, the whole movie is pretty much just him, and then the voice of this robot. Two weeks to go, Sam. Two weeks to go, buddy. I'm going home. But that's basically it. But yet it feels so full and rich and there's so many different twists and turns. And yes, it is mostly sci-fi and not exactly a horror movie. But there is some weird, strange twist that do darken it up a bit and do make it a little more edgy. Not still quite horror, but definitely, in my opinion, horror adjacent. Either way, it is a fantastic movie that I do definitely recommend. I want to go home. I know. Next up is the 1998 film, Disturbing Behavior. You hate it here, don't you? She's different. The kids are strange. Hello. Hey. It's like they're always smiling. They're always happy. Kelly Connor said she saw Andy Efkin bite the head off a kitten in a fit of rage. So I was in my late teens when this movie hit, and I loved it. It was a really good time then, and it is still a great time now. Anyone my age, like late 30s, early 40s, I think you will have a lot of fond memories and some really cool nostalgic moments while watching this movie. Brainwashed, lobotomized, programmed. Now with every successive kid, we are getting closer and closer to perfection. But it is a really great time capsule of the late 90s, early 2000s. Everything from fashion, style, music. I just think it's a fun little sci-fi, horror, teen kind of bullshit movie that is a fun little popcorn, kicking back kind of deal. Disturbing behavior. Next is a movie that I just recently discovered and it's called The Innkeepers. Do you know the story of Madeline O'Malley? She was the woman that died here in the hotel. She hung herself after her fiance stood her up on their wedding day. And ever since then, people have reported seeing the ghost of Madeline O'Malley. So this is a really cool little movie, like I said, that I just recently watched and it's a very much a small ghost story. This is a small movie, small budget, small cast kind of thing. This is our last weekend open, so we've gotta find some proof that Madeline O'Malley really exists before this place closes down. It's quirky and fun and has a lot of charm. It has some humor. There's a lot of mystery to this movie and it is definitely creepy at times as well as fairly dark, but when it all boils down to it, it's just a fun little movie that is very entertaining and I highly recommend it. Next, we go to Snowpiercer. This is the world. The train saved humanity. The engine lasts forever. The population must always be kept in balance. 
I said sit down. And this is another movie that is mostly sci-fi, but does have some horror type of moments as well. And I've always thought that end of the world apocalyptic scenarios always felt very horror to me. And so I always kind of include them in horror movies. But this stars Chris Evans. And if you've never seen this, this is one of those hidden gem kind of movies that more people have talked about through the years, but still not nearly enough. And this movie is so well done. It's very action packed, very mysterious, has a lot of creepy, unique elements, and just in general is a fantastic watch. I belong to the front. You belong to the tail. No, don't. The basic premise is the whole world is frozen except for this train and this train just goes in this big circle basically and everyone lives on this giant train and there's classism and just a lot of mystery and some really cool effects. This is just a great movie for fans of movies like Blade Runner or Mad Max or anything apocalyptic. Definitely do yourself a favor and check it out. This is your destiny. Now we go to the movie Dagon. I'd say we've got a storm coming up. Brace yourself! We're gonna have to take the raft into that town for help. So this is an HP Lovecraft adaptation from 2001. And this movie has issues, okay? But it is a fun sci-fi movie with some creatures and weird twisted sci-fi horror elements that I have always had an absolute blast with. You wanna tell me what's wrong with everybody in this town? People come, but no one leaves. Granted, it doesn't have the best CGI, doesn't have the best special effects. It's from 2001, so it's already dated and you can feel it. It is still a blast, and for anyone who's a fan of HP Lovecraft stuff, I think it's a must watch. No matter what, I think you can definitely have a good time with this, so I do highly recommend it. All right, now we go to Silent Hill. Shit! Shit! And this is a 2006 movie based off of the video game, the very popular video game, which I personally love, especially the original PlayStation. I used to love playing that game. But this movie, I feel like gets a lot of hate and undeservedly because granted it isn't a perfect movie and it does have some holes and flaws special effects issues and whatever but man is it dark and creepy and has a lot of really twisted elements monster elements creature feature stuff that i absolutely love i love that everything feels smoky and it's hard to see and just the way the whole town looks the fire started 30 years ago it's always been a horror movie that I just have a great time with. I've always hoped someone would make a new version of it and put some money into it and really polish this story up because I've always thought of all the video game adaptations into movies, Silent Hill is the one that could be done the best and the creepiest, but I still love this for what it is, flaws and all, I still think it's a great little horror movie. Next is Ghost Ship. Last month, I was out in the middle of the strait when I came across this. Congratulations, you found a boat in the middle of the ocean. What do you think a ship like this could be worth? I do know one thing, C gives you an opportunity to take it. All right, so I know this movie is flawed. Like all early 2000s movies, they're covered in early 2000s shit. But it doesn't matter because for me, I still love them. I can look past the shitty CGI. I can look past the bad dialogue. I can look past those holes because there is some kind of charm about them. And at the end, if you boil them down to what they are, they're a lot of fun and they are some really cool stories still there. To me, Ghost Ship goes in that same category as movies like 13 Ghosts. 
and I understand that they're not a high quality horror movie, but everything doesn't have to be a high quality horror movie to have a good time with. And this is one of those movies that is nothing more than a popcorn, relaxing, chilling on your couch Friday night kind of thing. So do yourself a favor, let your hair down, and watch some stupid movies and have a good time with it and quit being so goddamn uptight, horror fans, and let yourself loose. Have some fun. Bon voyage. Next up, Whirr. Oh, what a good boy. What's he doing? Peter, stay close to your dad. <laughs> And if you'd like to know more in depth of what I think about this movie, I did do a review recently of this movie right up here, but it is a fantastic little underappreciated werewolf movie. It is a lot of fun in a lot of different ways. It's unique. It has some really cool practical effects as well as some pretty decent CGI. It does put a pretty cool spin on the whole werewolf mythos and does it in a very unique, different way. I can't hear all over his hands. They were huge. He was tearing my boy to pieces. If you're a fan of werewolf movies and you've never checked out Whirr, then you definitely need to. No matter what, if you're a fan of horror movies, this is a good one to check out. Telling Gwinnick by the mere definition of the word <laughs> is a werewolf. And last up on the list is Lord of Illusions. Something is coming. How would you like to see the world the way it really is? So this is a Clive Barker film that used to be talked about a lot in the 90s and into the early 2000s. But for whatever reason, it kind of feels forgotten at this point. And you never hear anyone talk about this gem. It's a psychological thriller, horror, fantasy kind of film. It has a lot of mystery to it. It has some really cool body horror. It's just about this weird cult situation and it really is a mind fuck. Mix is back from the dead. Then he is some kind of a god. Yes, maybe not everything holds up in this movie because it is from the mid 90s and they were trying to play around with CGI a little bit and it doesn't quite hold up. But it's still a fantastic little Clive Barker film that really needs to be the very first one that you check out. All you have to do is beg. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Please leave your comments down below. You know I love hearing from you guys, especially your suggestions. And if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell, because that is the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this at least two times every week. And I also wanna give a huge, massive thank you to my patrons because your support means so much to me and if you would like to find out more about becoming a patron the link is down in the description and like always thank you so much for watching please crush that like button and remember guys horror can be fun i will see you guys next time